Hi, my name is Tom Graham, and with me is my good friend and longtime Devo partner, Mr. Gil Gowing. We're here to give you an in-depth look at how Avid Cloud Collaboration for Pro Tools works and why it's a game changer in modern Pro Audio workflows. That's right. It's great to be here in Los Angeles, and today we're going to be using two MacBook Pro systems running Pro Tools 12 side by side, so you can see exactly what's happening on both sides of the collaboration process. Plus, we're also going to invite our colleague and good friend Jeff Komar over Madison, Wisconsin as a third collaborator. Great, so let's get started by taking you through the process of setting up your Cloud Collaboration user account and then signing in. All right, so creating a user account for collaboration is really as easy as basically logging into your Avid master account. That's right, so now in Pro Tools 12.5 under the File menu, we've got a new sign-in menu option. That's gonna bring up a sign-in window. And once that connects to the internet, it basically allows you to sign into your Avid account, which is what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna type in my uh, email address that's uh, part of my Avid master account. Let's uh, go ahead and type in my password, and uh, let's sign in. Spins here, and then uh, once it does sign in, you're gonna see the, the window go away. And if we go back under the sign-in window, it basically tells you that you are now signed in. Now, the next thing we wanna do is go to another new menu command under the window menu called Artist Chat. And uh, this window basically kind of is in our, our portal into how we communicate with Pro Tools to other collaborators. But first, we need to actually go in and set up our profile. Now, you'll see that it actually has auto-populated um, my name, my city and state and country that I'm in, but I do need to, to create a, an actual display name here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type in uh, gill.gowing and uh, we'll hit save. And now that's saved and I'm basically set up with my profile. If I ever need to go in, wanna change that, it's just a matter of clicking on my name in the top right corner of the artist chat window, go back under profile, and it brings it back up and then I can change anything. So if I moved from where I'm at and I wanna uh, change the city or if I do decide I wanna change my display name at some point, it can all be done right there. So if I were to find you, which we'll show in a few minutes, we could search for that screen name is how I would find you. That's right. Okay, and we'll dive in deeper to talk more about the artist chat window and really all the different options in there. But let's first go back and talk about the dashboard next. 